Today we're going to be installing Super Clamp 2 in our double wide enclosed snowmobile trailer. This is currently what the ski tie downs look like and hold this, they do hold the snowmobile in very tightly but they are a pain in the butt to work with and you can see that the, the, they're not even straight anymore. The, shafts take so much abuse in the braking and so forth that they get bent and it makes them even diff more difficult to thread into the floor. And as well, last year, if you watch the Kearney Scenic Ice Caves video, that we couldn't even get the these bolts out of the snowmobile trailer floor. They were seized right in from all the salt and road grime. And uh, we ended up having to go to a local garage and get a propane torch and heat the underside of it, spray the heck out of it with WD-40 just to break them loose. So what a pain in the butt. Like you couldn't even pry these things with a crowbar. They just spun, the actual handles just spun on the nuts. So after that I said, forget it. I'm gonna try something different and everybody swears by the super clamps. Are they as good as what they crack up to be? Well, let's check it out. Um, didn't come with, I bought these second hand, they are about a hundred bucks a clamp, and retail they about two hundred dollars plus tax a clamp, but uh, they didn't come with the, 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 uh, the hooks for the floor, so I made, which actually this grips into, but I made, uh, I took a two and a half inch square, square corner u bolt and I uh, had a buddy of mine weld it so it's an inch and an eighth gap there. And that'll hook on to the, uh, the super clamps nicely. But a friend of mine also had these laying around. He said he almost threw them out several times. It's actually super clamp tie down, and uh, they're about 20 bucks from the dealer. And uh, this has the Triton track nut on it. And uh, I'm gonna see, maybe I can make these work in the floor of my trailer. Who knows? Let's check that out. Right now you can see to actually clamp these sleds in, you have to crawl in here. And imagine how horrible this is with snowmobile gear on, boots, and a tech vest. I line that up like that. And I know this is probably upside down, but I put it this way so it's less threading. Because, um, you know, you can sit here for a day and uh, thread the sucker into the floor. And really you only need a few threads to make it tight. But you can see, hopefully you can see that wobbling. It's not even straight anymore. So that could become problematic down the road. So let's call that tight. Okay, so we might have to actually bolt that through the floor. But let's check out these stock clamps and just see. Maybe we'll get lucky and that'll fit in there. I'll clean that up good, but just for now, let's just check this out. Oh, they thread right in. Love it. That makes install easy. Rubber washer in. Thread that down like so. Grab the pliers and crank on that good, but that'll be good and tight. Love how that fits in. I love it when things come together. When a manufacturer is so innovative that they think of a universal bolt size that'll fit most trailers. And this is not a Triton or it's a blue water trailer, so it's kind of an off off brand to be honest. But it fits perfectly. Let's grab a clamp and give it a try. So this is the clamp. It's got a couple neat features. You can actually adjust the hook tension by turning this knob. So basically we'll set it in here. We'll hook it around. We'll just see how that works. That looks seems a little tight. See how it's pulling the floor up? So I'll just loosen the knob off. And there she goes. It's that simple to install. It's even got a little key here. You can flip that down. 
or you can snap a padlock in that hole as well. But that's good and tight now. And then remove it, it's that simple. No muss, no fuss. I wonder if I can even put the handle on the other side so it's even better. I'm actually doing it from outside the trailer. That would be slick. Let's give that a shot.